What's up everyone, back for another beer review and today I'll be reviewing yet another beer from New Park Brewing and they are out of West Hartford, Connecticut and this is their wavelength. So they're calling this one an IPA that comes in at 7% alcohol by volume. No IBUs list in time of review. This can is approximately seven weeks old. I wanna give a huge thanks, shout out once again to a very good friend of mine and a viewer of the channel, Rick, for this beer. So big thanks to him. In the description box, I'll post a link to the beer mail unboxing video I did that contains all the goodies he hooked me up with. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited about this one. Why is it New Park beer? Now I've reviewed a couple on the channel. I really dig what they do. And uh, Rick hooked me up with, I think it was a half dozen offerings from them, three of which were Hop Forward. And this is the first one I'm reviewing. So this one is actually brewed with Citra and Galaxy Hops. And that's all I know about it, other than the fact that it's seven weeks old. And uh, I'm going to get into it. So let's crack this one open and get into the glass, see what we got going on here. So now, they say it's just an IPA. It's going to be a New England style IPA. It's going to be hazy. That, that's what New Park does. So as you can see, it has that lighter kind of haze look to it. And uh, we'll give it a nice pour like that. Beauty. And I really like the artwork. Very simplistic, but kind of catches the eye. So anyway, yeah, that has that beautiful, like, milky um, yellow-orange color. Very murky and turbid. Can't see through it. No shadow, no anything. Hold up to the light. Yeah, you can't see through that. It has kind of that, like... Um, I don't say butternut squash soup, but it has kind of like that, uh, you know, just milky kind of look to it, like almost like a um, turkey gravy or something. Just over a finger, maybe a finger and a half of a really creamy off-white colored head. Looks beautiful. Let's get a nose. Nice, subdued, but nice. So it has sweeter. So with Citra, a lot of people always think citra equals citrus and it really doesn't for me anyway I mean we're all different right so maybe when you get a citra beer it's always citrus for you and that's fine for me though it's more stone fruit when I get citra I always think think like peach apricot mango in that realm and that's what I'm getting here it's big stone fruit vibes overripe and peach but not quite to the candy level creamy mango maybe a touch of pineapple and then there's a something else I sometimes get with Citra, but also with Galaxy. And that's like a little bit of like a passion fruit. And now as this opens up, it's like passion fruit and a honeydew melon. The pineapple starting to grow, becoming a little bit sweeter, like a crushed pineapple kind of aroma. Wow. Has a very slight like crackery uh, malt character. Yeah, so as this is opening up and I'm swirling it, getting those aromatics going, agitating it, I think the, the pineapple and the passion fruit, more of the galaxy starting to come to the forefront as opposed to the citra. It's a nice blend. It smells really good. Make my mouth water. Let's get into it. Cheers, everybody. Thanks again, Rick. That's really nice. The reason why I was trying to figure out what was going on is like after the first sip, like, there's this nice, kind of like sweet, authentic, fleshy, fruity thing going on. Go back. Yeah, real nice. Buy this for 7%, bit over medium, approaching like higher side of medium, fine for 7%. The mouthfeel, spectacular. It's soft, it's smooth, it's really creamy. Yeah, my feels fa fantastic. The taste, it's kind of like the nose, but there's a little bit of like a sweeter, almost kind of like authentic, real, juicy, sweet fruit character. Like it's kind of it's kind of strange because a lot of times we've talked about this before. Shout out to a very good friend of mine, fellow beer tuber Kyle over at No High Beer Reviews, where he says, you know, when we're talking about fruits in these beers, if there's no addition, it's just come from the hops. You can tell it's the fruit that the hop is producing as opposed to a real fruit. Sometimes, very rarely, will I get a beer like this where like the fruit character just from the hops is coming off as natural, real fruit as opposed to a fruity hop, if that makes any sense. And that's what's happening here. There's the forefront, little crackery malt that's right underneath the palate. And right after that, waves of overripened peach, creamy mango, crushed pineapple. Halfway through the palate, that, that almost tart, kind of juicy um, passion fruit hits. And then there's this, and this is where I'm getting the authentic fruit character. This is almost like I just scooped 
took a scoop or a slice of honeydew, fresh honeydew, ripened honeydew melon. Like that's what, that's what hit me about halfway, maybe like two thirds of the way through the palate. The one knock I have about this beer, it does finish Chamay de Flan dry, but I want a little bit more bitterness. This is like mildly bitter. And that just goes as a whole for a lot of New England IPAs and hazies. A lot of times they're a bit too sweet. There's nothing to back them up from a bitterness perspective. That's the one slight issue I'm having with this beer right now. It's a bit too sweet. Not crazy sweet. About 60-40 sweetness to dryness and bitterness. So it's just leaning more sweet. Which means I drink a can of this and I wouldn't want to drink another. Not that I would, but I'm saying let's say I wanted to session this and I could session this. I don't think I could just from the sweetness aspect. It's not cloying. It's just I'm one and done with it. It's really tasty though. Um, there's a little bit of like a, I want to say like a floral, a floral grassiness on the back of the palate. Like try to pinpoint that, but yeah, it's a little bit of like a floral grassiness on the finish. 7%, you really can't tell which highs the alcohol. Beautiful, beautifully. It's a really nice, hazy New England style IPA at 7%. Uh, Citroen Galaxy. I've had that hop combo numerous times before. I think they did a great job with this. So pros on this one, mouthfeel, spectacular. I love the fruit character in here from a juicy to a sweeter aspect. It's very complex. I'm getting like a half dozen uh, fruits. And I really enjoy that honeydew melon authentic kind of feeling halfway to two thirds of the way through the palate. Negatives, um, wish the body was slightly bigger. And that sweetness, um, it, it's a little bit too sweet for what I want in a super well-balanced um, IPA, but at the end of the day, this is really good. So if there was some kind of substantial bitterness, I would give this probably in the 4.5 range. That's how good it is in terms of flavor, but have to knock it down a little bit. So wavelength from New Park, I have absolutely no issues giving this beer right here a uh, high 4.25, I'm going to go 4.35. So I got to knock it down a little bit, but it still gets a crazy high score because this is a very good and highly enjoyable beer. So huge thanks to Rick for this one. Uh, price point availability. I didn't see the exact price point on this. I was talking to Rick about uh, the, the um, price points on these and I forgot about the new Park IPAs, um, but there were a couple still on the website that they had the, the actual cost. So I would say for this 16 to 18 bucks, uh, 7% IPA, so probably 16 or 17 as opposed to 18, but 16, 18 uh, bucks a four pack, which is the going rate for beers like this. So it's not substantially high or low uh, when you're talking about beers in the uh, the New England or Northeastern part of the US. It's the going rate, so that's fine. And availability is New Park. I think they're pretty much brewery only, or maybe they get some slight drops in distro in and around uh, Connecticut, but for the most part, you can't just randomly just pick their stuff up in New York or, you know, Pennsylvania or New Jersey or wherever. I don't think anyway. Um, so if I'm wrong, somebody out there correct me. But Rick, Rick pretty much gave me the lowdown on most of the beers. I just forgot to ask him specifically about this one. So if you've had this one before, anything from New Park, post in the comment section. Let me know what you thought about any of their beers. Again, for a Citra and Galaxy IPA, this is extremely well done. I'm going to drink the rest of that. have no issues. It's just I need a little bit more bitterness to kind of want to come back to this. Um, but I can't argue... Uh, that the flavor profile of this is right in my wheelhouse. So huge thanks to Rick. Thanks to everybody stopping by for another beer review here on the Beer Patrol. Oh yeah, 7%, like I said, you really can't tell it. And I think 7%, you really should nowadays, but I'm glad I don't because it makes it a little bit more drinkable despite the lack of bitterness. Anyway, till the next one. Cheers.